so hello friends uh, welcome back to the project uh, library management system so till now we have uh, designed the login page and the dashboard okay so today we are going to uh, do the backend part that is uh, working on mysql to build these tables uh, admin table books table and staff table so let's start this uh, so i'll go on to my mysql okay uh, you log into your mysql account then uh, first of all we'll create a database okay so like create database and give some name like uh, give library library only okay so like this and semicolon and enter okay so i have already created the database so i'll want uh, uh, create it again after creating that use this statement as use data use library the name that you have given to your database okay so this and a semicolon so now we have entered to our database and now here we will create our uh, tables okay so let's first create the table admin so create table admin okay just enter over here don't put any semicolon over here and then open braces uh, now we will give all the column names uh, their data types and uh, uh, their uh, keys and all like primary keys and all so let's do it uh, so basically in the admin table uh, we need a few things like uh, user id the uh, name of the admin and uh, the password and uh, one mobile number okay so contact details so we are going to have these four columns in it so let's do it okay so user id we'll start with the user id user id and its data type i'll give it as varchar and i'll take uh, okay 50 i'll take 50 as its length size and i'll give it as the primary key okay now just a uh, comma next line uh, here the name of the uh, admin so name again varchar i'll give 50 over here as well then the next column would be the password password and password would also be varchar password will also be varchar and uh, let's give it as uh, uh, 50 next the last one is the contact details so contact i'll take varchar only because uh, i guess integer won't take the whole 10 numbers in the uh, mobile number so i'll take varchar only and i'll give it as 10 okay and i'll close the brackets and semicolon so it's showing an error you have an error in your sql uh, check the value that corresponds to your primary key okay so here was the spelling mistake in primary key so yeah this is the main problem in this so i'll try it again so create table admin after that this primary key i have this spelling mistake over here okay so this now i'll have to write it write everything again now so name varchar varchar 50 okay then password as varchar 50 then there's the contact varchar 10 okay and i'll close the braces over here so yeah query is okay so now i've created the table uh, let's check it select asterisk from uh, the table name is admin so admin and see here it's showing empty set because uh, we haven't given any values to it 
still so now we'll give the value so initially i'm giving only one admin to the library management system so i'll just provide one uh, set of values to it okay so let's uh, insert the values so insert into insert into admin values and the first thing is user id so user id i'll give as uh, uh, let's take it as uh, i'll keep the name as uh, uh, satish over here so i'll just give the user id as satish at the rate one two three okay oh sorry uh, we won't use the double quotation we'll use the single quotation so satish at the rate one two three then the next thing is name we have to give the name so name uh, is satish kumar satish kumar and uh, after that the password is there so let's give him a password as uh, you know satish uh, one two three four five four three two one okay i'm giving this password to him and uh, the last thing is uh, his contact so contact suppose uh, uh, randomly i'm taking some random number seven six five four four three five eight five four one two how many digits uh three three six nine and ten okay so that's it and i'll just so here i have inserted the values so let's check it once select asterisk from admin and see here is the table created user id uh, is satish at the rate one two three name is satish kumar uh, password is satish one two three four five four three two one and contact is this so yeah so this table is create, uh, created now now we will create the table book okay so uh, I have already created the books table and the staff table okay so you just have to create it uh, the similar way that I have created the admin table okay uh, at there uh, you you need to you know uh, give the table and the column values as you require and uh, uh, again you'll have to uh, feed the values into it so I have already done that so I'll just show you the tables okay so select asterisk from books and see i've already uh, created this table books with the columns as book id category uh, name author and copies okay so these are the columns and uh, uh, these are the values that i have inserted the book ids are uh, b001 uh, b002 to b010 okay and these categories have like because it's a library management system so in the library uh, there can there can can be you know uh, many categories of books uh, almost every kind of books are available over there so i have tried to you know uh, enter as many categories uh, as i could so i've given here data structures java indian history indian politics novel mysql geography comics science and biology and some of the books over here and the author name and the number of copies okay the number of copies of those books that are present in the uh, library so i've given that over here so this is the books table and now let me show you the staff table so select asterisk staff sorry from staffs and see here i've already created the staff table so there are three columns staff id name and contact so in staff id uh, we have uh, s001 2 and so i've totally given five staffs into it okay uh, you can increase it as well 
and uh, the names are here the contact details are here so the primary key is uh, the staff id is the primary key and in this book table the book id is the primary key okay so we have done all the three tables and now after this we'll go back to our uh, front end part okay we'll move back to a front end part where we will like uh, give the codes to all these uh, frames that we have already created that the login page the dashboard in the login page we would provide the code where uh, we would uh, check whether the uh, given credentials uh, are matching to the uh, credentials present in the admin table of mysql uh, is uh, like same or not uh, only if it is same then uh, only then uh, the user would be the admin would be logged into his uh, dashboard otherwise uh, he won't be allowed to you know go into his dashboard and uh, after that after that uh, we'll give these functions as book uh, available staff details and everything into it so uh, for this video uh, we have created the, these tables and uh, so in the next video we'll see all those things so thank you for now